A few days a week, Parle Walsh climbs a tower in the Fremont Bridge. I'm much more used to toiling away in obscurity, if you will. Up top, he sets up a makeshift studio and sits down to tell a story. I want the music to be visceral and raw and real and like maybe even a little uncomfortable. Like I don't necessarily want it to be an easy listen for people. Walsh is an artist in residence at the bridge, part of an ongoing city program, which highlights the landmark's impact on Seattle. He won a $10,000 city grant and is spending the summer composing a piece of music. I have a four corner office for the summer. <laughs> Up here, Walsh can look out and reflect on a neighborhood where his life almost went silent. I basically kind of stopped living at a certain point and um, didn't think that it was, it mattered if I lived or died. About seven years ago, Walsh was living on these streets, abusing drugs and alcohol, lost in a deep depression. He says the bridge during those dark years was a steady presence. His life may have been spiraling out of control, but this did not change. For me, there's a, a very visceral, emotional connection to this neighborhood and to the bridge specifically that is what makes it a really compelling vehicle to write music about this and to talk about this stuff. Walsh says his family and friends helped pull him back to sobriety after a serious health scare in 2012. He was able to get back to work at his studio just down the block from the bridge. This is a rough kind of sketch of one of the songs. Walsh says he plans to share his story with the audience when he performs the final piece this fall. The more I look back on the dark times in my life, the more I want to help other people get through their dark times. A bridge helps connect the roads that led him here. I made it through because of other people. In Fremont, Ted Land, King 5 News.